right, so this video is going to be on my June favorites, and you all know how I do. I just pretty much have a hodgepodge of things. I have a little bit of makeup, some skincare, I have some kicks, a book, some fragrances. You, you know how I do. So let me just go ahead and start off with a foundation. And this is a foundation that I've pretty much been rocking a lot of and I actually post a lot of wear tests on foundation new foundations that I get and I will we'll post like little short uh, one minute stories on Instagram if you're not following me definitely follow me on Instagram but anyway this foundation is by CoverGirl and this is the full spectrum matte ambition foundation and I think that this is really beautiful I think that it pairs well with um, a lot of powders both high-end and drugstore it holds up really well after that sixth and seventh hour I mean I felt that it even held up when I wore it to the gym now mind you you know once I started once you're you know working out and you begin to perspire and things like that you are going to do that but as far as totally breaking up and separating and things like that I didn't find that it actually did that in fact after I left the gym and actually got home and my face actually dried down it just pretty much dried back down and looked exactly the same after I initially said it but I think it's really pretty in person if you're in the market for a matte foundation even one that you don't have to set because by this being a matte foundation if you do have mature skin this is one that you definitely don't have to set I would say to try it because I honestly think that this is a very pretty foundation all right the next product that I have is a concealer by Ulta and I was kind of skeptical when I picked up this concealer but I especially like it because while it is a matte concealer it doesn't lean just overly drying but this one is just a really uh, perfect matte if you will and I found that it plays very well with my skincare products and I especially like the color the color that this that I have is tan to deep and I think that it really works well as a highlight and so if you're in the market for a matte concealer and you've just kind of been wondering about Ulta's concealer I think that you should definitely try it out so the next one that I have is a snail mucin by Cos Cosrx I'll put the name down below and yes this is made from snail secretion so if you can get past this um, or the idea of where this comes from I think that this is a really good product to use I like to use this in my nighttime time skincare routine mainly because I find it to be on the uh, I don't want to call it thick but um, let's see it, it it's a little bit heavy well I don't yeah I'm just going to it is heavier than a serum but lighter than a moisturizer but I just like to use it at night and the way that this particular product works is the glycolic acid that is in snail mucin just helps your cells produce collagen and it's also going to help with hydration it is very very slimy I know that sounds really bad but if you can get past that I would say to try this out I love this product I especially like how it keeps my skin hydrated and how my skin feels in the morning so this is the second to last step that I apply at night I apply I will apply this and then I'll go in with my moisturizer but if you've ever been wondering about snail mucin and you want to and you want to dive into the uh, world of essences and things like that I would say to try this baby out all right so this next one that I have is a rose hip oil by go Pure. and not sure if you all are familiar with the benefits of rose hip oil but rose hip oil is good for anti-aging it's good for brightening the skin also there have been studies to show that it helps with acne it does have some type of antibacterial effect so if you're needing a oil for that there's also been studies to show that it helps with collagen production so overall this this is an oil that does have a lot of good benefits. And I've been mainly using mine for a scar that I have and for the anti-aging type of effect. And I'll put it on my neck and my decollete area as a moisturizer in, at night. And I pretty much use it like that. And I also put it on my elbows. So there's just a whole host of different ways that you can use rosehip oil. And definitely if you have any type of scars, uh, that you are trying to address, I would definitely say to look into this one. All 
right, and next I have a fragrance, and this is by Versace. This is a men's cologne. This is my husband's cologne, but this is in Eros Flame, and I especially like this because it has a woodsy, spicy type of smell. I think that this cologne is appropriate for a night out or places like that. I think that if you are going to wear it to the office or something like that, this is just my opinion. I would say to kind of wear it a little bit of it because at first it can be kind of I don't want to say pungent but it is a very masculine smell so ladies if you like for your man to smell uh, kind of spicy woodsy and very masculine and strong you might want to check this new one out because it is oh it's a good one. All right, and the next one is a ladies cologne, and this is C Passion, and this is by Giorgio Armani, and this is a really good summer fragrance. It doesn't have much of a sillage, you know, effect. I do have some perfumes where you spray them, and you're gonna, you, you're gonna, people are gonna smell you for miles, of my, miles and miles away. But this one is very soft. I would say that this is a good one for wearing to the office or if you're just going to be kind of running errands just in town or something like that or going out with the girlfriends this is not going to be really heavy because I know some folks don't like that real heavy pungent you know just just slap you in the face type of perfumes to me this one isn't it's very soft or if you like to just kind of wear perfumes around your house you know just for yourself just to just kind of smell sweet and soft this one would be a good one but this is a really nice nice uh, fragrance plus I really like the bottle don't you think that bottle is cute all right so next I have some kicks and these are the Nike 270s these things are so so cute plus yellow don't you think that every lady needs a yellow pair of kicks in her collection these are comfortable plus i don't know if if i like the fact that they're yellow more so or the fact that they're comfortable but anyway i think that nike does make some really nice tennis shoes and these are definitely worth trying if you've ever passed by these and wondered how they are i would definitely say to check them out they're really good for just kind of going about doing your daily errands they're very very comfortable which is also important you know super super comfortable and they're not made like they don't have like the traditional tongue right here in it so they kind of open they kind of fit your your foot like a sock if you will kind of like a sock but you still can tighten it right there but for the month of june these little bad boys just too cute been enjoying these all right so this next one is a deodorant yes it's a deodorant and I've talked about this kind of deodorant before in the past uh, but I have a little backstory on this one this is the degree motion sense dry spray antiperspirant in sexy intrigue so I've talked about this deodorant before maybe a year ago in one of my favorites but and I've since purchased I don't know how many but when I went to the store to repurchase this particular time I noticed that they had sexy intrigue so i was like hmm sexy intrigue and i love fragrances i love perfumes i love them love them love them love them so i'm like hmm sexy intrigue i'm wondering what that would smell like i'm wondering if i would like it wonder if my husband will like it and i hope this what i'm about to say is not too much too much information <laughs> but one day i just finished my shower and i was actually putting on you know my potions and lotions and all of that and I had just sprayed this deodorant on and maybe a couple of minutes later, my husband walks in the room and he says, oh, you smell good. Is that another, is that a new cologne that you bought? I said, no, it's a new deodorant, sexy and tree. <laughs> I thought that that was the funniest stuff. So I was like, I told him, I said, I'm gonna make a note of this deodorant. Okay, I'm making a note because from now on, will we? I will purchase sexy intrigue. But anyway, it's a really, fun and playful scent if you are one that even looks looks at that kind of stuff i do when i go and buy deodorants and stuff like that i don't particularly like the baby powder fragrances but i, I will look at the fragrances and i try to strategically decide what i want to smell like uh under my arms <laughs> that sounds so weird but anyway sexy intrigue ladies you need to check sexy intrigue out all right next i have a setting powder by black radiance and this is 
their new shade in Honeymoon. This is the Loose Setting Powder. I love this powder. In my opinion, can really hang with a lot of the higher end brands. I think that this powder plays very well with all foundations. I've never seen it do anything weird with any of the foundations that I've worn. This is one powder that's super affordable um, that I think that probably everybody should have in their collection. And I say, you know, everybody, because I think it's like, I think you can get it for like five or six dollars or something like that. All right, this next one is a eyeshadow palette by Physicians Formula. And this is their Tropic Days uh, Butter Eyeshadow Palette. I really like this eyeshadow palette. I think that the shades blend very well. I think that the shimmers are very buttery and creamer, creamery, creamy. The only thing that I probably don't like about Physicians Formula is that they are so, so pricey. I think this thing was $15 or something like that, but I particularly like grabbing it because it has a lot of earthy tones, a lot of tones that I can use in my crease. And of course it does have some really pretty lid colors. But if you want a one pack, if you are looking for just one palette where you can just use that you don't have to go into multiple palettes or just have multiple palettes in your collection, I think that this is a really good formula Formula. And I even think that it would be beginner friendly because the shadows really do blend well. All right, and the last thing on my list is a book and this is by Tony Evans. This is Detours. This is the unpredictable path to your destiny. And this is a really good book if you're essentially trying to decide your purpose in life. If you're trying to decide what what exactly is God wanting me to do with my life? What does he want me to do on a day to day basis? Uh, how does he want me to pray? I think that this is very clear at answering that. I particularly like Tony Evans. I'm not sure if any of you all are familiar with Tony Evans, but I think that he is a dynamic preacher. I listen to him and I learn a great deal from, from him. This is a really quick and easy read, but this one um, really just lets you know that God has a plan for your life. And he's, you know, Tony Evans is gonna help you see what that plan is. He's going to make it very clear to you. So that's pretty much it, short and sweet. Let me know what you've been enjoying for the month of June. I'd love to hear about it. Thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video, smooches.